Hello, banjo lovers. Let's talk about banjo action adjustment. This one is important. Okay, I haven't seen any YouTube video uh, people talk about. Maybe people like uh, me or like you, uh, we all bought this uh, budget or cheap banjo and got the same problem. Okay, and uh, we need to adjust the action. I don't know how to do it, but here, okay. Let me tell you what I did. Okay, you can see if this works for you. Okay, couple things. Okay, we all know action really related to the. Uh, let's say the action usually. Uh, if action no good, okay, we all care about either too high or too low. Okay, here what I'm talking about is too low. All right, too low means usually we hear the fret buzz. Okay, like this one. This one is uh, Ash Thorpe maybe. Same, uh, different brand, but same, exactly the same banjo like other brand. Okay, there are maybe hundred brands out there. Okay, but they are the same basically. All right. So usually, okay, when we see this, okay, when we see the buzz, usually it buzz from the fr front. I mean the lower fret. Okay, that means usually that means the uh, the neck is like. Uh, like an arch, like this, like like this way, the, the, the neck is like this. That's the result from the lower fret, you hear a buzz. Okay, you can check, okay, see if uh, that's the problem. You can use your eye, okay, just look at. You might see the little, little bow, okay, you can see it. Okay, usually if you get a, get a, get a bow like this, okay, if two bow like this, right? Okay, next, usually there's no perfect streak, okay, you need some, some some bow like this kind of shape. Okay, you need some clearance between the frets. Okay, it's a natural way. Okay, and uh, if you are uh, uh, from the middle, like uh, for me, five or seven. Okay, you fret here, you hear the buzz. Okay, hear the buzz. That means okay, your your uh, your uh, the your neck is too is a bow like too much. Okay, that means when you fret here, okay, that touch. Uh, higher frets, all right. But if after you adjust everything for your buzz, okay, you fix your lower frets, and uh, and then you uh, uh, after you look your uh, your 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 neck, okay, it's a perfect like a perfect like a bow shape, okay, not too much. Now. Usually when you, when you see it, it's like you you fret first fret and fret the last fret, okay, and then you look uh, in uh, in the middle. Okay, you can see this little tiny space. Okay, almost touched fret. That means you're perfect. Okay, but if you see too much space, that's no good. That's your threat. That's your truss rod problem. Okay, you can adjust your truss rod here. You see, um, I've been adjusting this one. This one when I got it. Okay, so it's not really playable. Okay, what I mean not playable is like lower frets, no problem. Okay, higher frets from start from five seven, start buzzing. Okay, up to the uh, twelve or fourteen. It's not playable, okay. The total the, the note is dead. Okay, right now I fix. Okay. Little bit but it's no problem, okay. That's that's the best I can get. Okay, I don't want to do furthermore. Anyway. And uh, so in that sense, okay, you can see, you can check from another way, okay. If you have a higher fret bus, you just uh, fret from the middle point, okay. For example, you 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 your your fret, your uh, hear the buzz from uh, here, uh, number seven, right? You just fret from uh, number six, a uh, number six, yeah. And then you look, okay. If if you are string and the fret, there's some space. Okay, you need you need some enough clearance, okay, to make string vibrate. They will not touch the fret, okay. Then there's no buzz. If the string is too close to the fret. You will hear the buzz because there's not enough space or clearance. Okay, when you, when you plug string, the vibration, the touch fret, that's the why you get a buzz. Okay, so what that means? Okay, that means your bridge is not high enough. The bridge point is not high enough. Okay, some people they say they like a different high, like a high, high, high bridge. Okay, it's okay, you can change it, but I don't think this one is the problem. That's the that's the problem, okay? Because the standard high usually, right? So that means 
you can adjust. Okay, that means you adjust your trust rod already. Okay, but your action is still too low from uh, middle flex all the way to the bridge, right? So from other videos, okay, like this type of banjo, there's a coordinator rod. Maybe let me see the name. Yeah, co coordinator rod. Okay, like this kind of rod. Okay. The, this type is different than others, okay? Others are the same same shape like this, the rod. They have screw, one screw on this side, another screw on another side, okay? So that means you can either tie this one or lose this one or tie this one or lose this one, okay? You can adjust your action, okay? Usually you check from the 12 frets, the action, what I'm talking about, okay? The higher frets action, all right? So, but this one, okay, has no has no screw on this on this side. This side is a basically it's a tail piece. Okay, all connect together. Okay, you can lose this one, but there's no way you can tie it from this side. Okay, maybe you can. <laughs> I just think maybe you can disassemble everything to adjust, but I don't think that's the right way to do it. Okay, okay, by theory it works. Okay, but I don't want to do it because I don't want to miss. Uh, I I mean. I don't want to mess up my tail piece, okay, so, uh, and uh, yeah. So uh, then I think, okay, probably there's another way, okay, to uh, to do this. And then I look here, this one look like this one. You can use wrench, okay, to adjust it, okay. So if you look, if you look or watch other videos, okay, the theory is, okay, this this rod, when you lose, we call, when you lose this screw, for example, if there's a screw here. And, here, and uh, 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 there's a screw here. If you lose this one, you tie this one, okay, you lose them and tie this one, you make action lower, okay, because they, they push this one in, try to uh, uh, drag string down, okay. So if you, if, you, uh, if you lose outside, okay, lose your outside, and uh, tighten this, uh, tighten, tighten up inside one, that means you push this, uh, this rod on this way, Okay, that means you get more space, more space. Okay, to the to the to the neck, to the action, to the string. Let's give more to the string. That means make action higher. Okay, that's the theory. Okay, but okay, we don't we don't have that kind of screw on another side. Okay, so that means I cannot do that way. All right. So when I look in this thread here, okay, here's thread, here's thread. Okay, thread here. I don't know how they put them together anyway. So the different type. We look at thread. This one, this thread go this way, right? That means, uh, so that means this thing. If this thing, okay, is turnable, okay. If we can turn this thing, you turn clockwise. This will go up from here. This rod will go up. Okay, go up. So means what? Okay, same thing like you uh, lose this one, tighten this one. That means the uh, action will get lower, right, on the other side. So if you turn like this, because the right, you can thread go upward, right, go right, right, go like this way. So how to make this, okay, the rod going down like this way, okay, that means you move this one down. That means you use wrench to uh, do counterclockwise, okay, counterclockwise, okay, and then you turn it, you will get the same result like you, uh, lose this screw and tighten up this screw. Okay, if there's screws there, I'm talking about. Okay, I think you got it. Okay, All right. So check. Okay, if you got this cheap banjo, don't return it. Don't throw away. Don't curse. Okay, you can fix it. You can adjust it. Okay, yeah, uh, because this look at this thing. Okay, it is a drum head with a kind of guitar type of neck. Okay, everything they fixed with the screws. Right. So that means most likely. We can fix it. Okay, we can fix it. So basically, you, you look at your uh, open up, look at your thread. Okay, find your thread direction. Okay, look at this rod like this. Okay, if you want your action to be higher, that means this this rod has to be go downward. Okay, make it longer. Okay, that means if this one go down, that means this rod go long go longer. That means make your string uh, action higher. Okay, if you want your action lower. Okay. That means you want this rod to be shorter, right? So you have to turn tight up this one, tighten up this one. Okay, but look, first look at your thread. 
Okay, how is the right direction goes? Mine is like, you see this way, okay, going upward, right? So when you turn it, it's going in, right? So, right, so I just did a little bit, a few turns, the result is obvious right now. Okay, everything's good. No buzz at all. Okay, before it's, it was a disaster. Okay, right. I don't play banjo, um, by the way. I just bought it to learn. Okay, just to play some notes. So that you hear there's no buzz. Okay. All right, so uh, good luck. Uh, have fun.